true actual story. There yeah. is a place in Chicago called O Block. And you can Google Uthman ibn Farooq O Block and you can see the video. And this is one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in all of America. And it's in South Chicago. And uh, murderers and 14-year-old and kids with guns shooting each other is common. Yes. So I wanted to go there to give da'wah. And people told me, you're crazy. Like, you're good. they're going to kill you. You know, it's a dangerous, like, you know, not somewhere, if you're not from there, you don't go there. And I told them, I'm not, I don't fear anybody but Allah, so we're going to go. So I went to Chicago and I told some of the Muslim brothers, I want to go to O Block. They told me, why do you want to go to O Block? We, exactly. we, stay, we stay away. I said, because they need Islam. We want to help them. We want to improve them. We want to make them have a better life. We don't want to just look down on them and shun them away. So we went there and on the way the police stopped us. And they, they stopped us, you know, where are you going? So we're going to O-Block. They said, you don't want to go there. When we were trying to set up our table for our outreach, for da'wah, the police came. One police lady, she said, I'm worried about you. I told her, don't worry about me, I have Allah. Alhamdulillah, we started to give da'wah. In a couple of hours, in one day that we were there, just for a few hours, we had 20 people accept Islam. MashaAllah. Even a police officer became Muslim. And if you check the One Message Foundation, you'll see the videos. The police officer said, who are you people that you're not scared to come here? So we're Muslim. Even though we're different races and different colors and different backgrounds, we're together. So when we gave the da'wah and so many people became Muslim, the neighborhood changed. There is a small documentary, another channel made, that showed that after those people becoming Muslim, they started to pray Jum'ah inside O Block. And they started to have Salah and more people became Muslim and the crime rate dropped. And even the police and the mayor there appreciated Islam helping that area. There's a documentary somebody else has made online about this. So what does that tell you? Our contribution to society is to improve society. If you look at the safest cities in the world, they're all Muslim. And if you look at the most dangerous cities in the world, they're not Muslim. they need Islam. Yes, they need it, for sure. Thank you, mashallah. Matter for you, uh, two hours, like more than twenty people. That's got to be a really an amazing number in changing people's life. I mean, how many lives saved after uh, you are preaching them? And thank you.